It's important to understand that what happened with EA's Battlefront 2 is just the tip of the iceberg. Please keep that in mind because outside of Electronic Arts' shady anti-consumer titles, there are many other gaming companies quietly doing the exact same thing and getting away with it. That's why today we need to discuss what has happened with Bungie's Destiny 2. A decent, mediocre sequel in my opinion has turned into just a giant mess in the last few weeks and months. You could almost argue the way Bungie is treating its player base is just as bad or maybe even even worse than Electronic Arts, but they've gotten away with it for the most part until now. Players are fed up with Bungie's BS excuses, and this latest incident has players protesting. Today we are going to be going over what happened with Destiny 2 and why it's unacceptable. So a few weeks ago, right around the time EA was still under direct fire for their Battlefront 2 mess, Bungie was also under fire from its Destiny 2 players for multiple reasons. It really began with players finding out that there was a secret XP throttling system. This system, for example, would say you gained 5,000 experience from an event. Depending on how you were playing, your progress bar may not fill up with that full XP that the game said you received. Pretty much it may say you got 5,000 experience, but the reality is you could have gotten far less. Following the mass outrage over this incident, Bungie issued a statement on November 24th, which didn't really apologize or admit that they did anything wrong, but more of just said that they weren't happy with how the system was working and that they were going to be fixing it. On November 29th, another statement was issued, and this one was much more of a, we messed up. Bungie stated that they had betrayed the expectation of transparency that players have for Destiny 2, and promised that they were going to continue improving the game and communicate better with the community. But only about a few weeks later, again, Bungie was under fire. Besides just the bad DLC they delivered, which currently sits at a 57 on Metacritic for the PlayStation 4, this time, players discovered certain endgame content was locked unless you opened up your wallet and purchased the new expansion, Curse of Osiris. This was angering for many players as the content was available before with the vanilla game, but now there's a nice good old paywall. This was something that Bungie came under fire for a few years ago when they did the exact same thing with the first expansion for Destiny 1. This was seen in a lot of consumers' eyes initially as Bungie and Activision sending a message of buy our expansions and follow our path with Destiny 2 or miss out on content that you may have already purchased. Once again, after mass outrage, Bungie responded by apologizing and admitting, quote unquote, it's clear that we've made some mistakes. But right before Bungie gave this response, another incident popped up when a Bungie job position was found that described looking to hire someone to make Engrams part of the progression system. This pretty much seemed like Destiny 2 was turning its mostly cosmetic loot boxes, which is Engrams, into a more essential part of the experience something that EA's Battlefront 2 tried doing. Immediately once this job position made its way to some gaming websites reporting on it, the whole position was deleted from Bungie's website, but thanks to the Wayback Machine we could see what they were looking for, with some of the responsibilities listed as create sustainable player progression and chase through Destiny 2's bright engrams, design and implement new features and systems with an eye on engagement, retention, and monetization, work with Destiny 2 leadership to help define a cohesive monetization experience across multiple expansions and seasons. From the wording of this job position and the responsibilities, it seems like sometime in the future Bungie may have been or are planning to make its loot boxes much more alluring, and part of the gameplay which is making players nervous, especially since Bungie has just chosen not to respond to this. But finally this leads us to what has happened the last few days, and it involves the Engrams. With this being the holiday season, where usually it's a time for celebration, in which developers add some free bonus content, showing that they appreciate its players, Bungie has chosen to turn Destiny 2's holiday-themed event, The Dawning, into a chance to get players to spend more money. The problem is that Bungie has incorporated another monetization scheme and again have failed to be honest with players. What has happened is that the Dawning Engrams is obtainable via certain specific event quests, which isn't a problem, but what is is that you can only earn three of those Engrams per week, one up front and two through challenges, which is also limited to only one account. Point being, there are 59 items, and without opening up your wallet, you're only going to be able to earn a fraction of the 59 items that come with this event that only lasts three weeks. This has led to mass protests all over Reddit right now, calling for the whole Eververse marketplace where you obtain engrams to be removed. 
This led to Destiny 2 game director Christopher Barrett responding saying quote unquote, I know we say it a lot, but we hear your feedback on Eververse. We both want our players to feel respected and to deliver great content regularly to our community. Expect lots of discussion with the dev team and an update on our path forward after the new year. Now I hope you understand this is just a brush over of the issues that have faced Destiny 2 thus far. Bungie seems to keep messing up and apologizing and saying that they're going to improve, and right now players have just had it. It also doesn't help when they put out bad expansions that feel rushed. Destiny 2 at launch may have not been great or even good, but it at least felt like things were going to improve in the coming months, but it just hasn't. All it has been is Bungie and Activision trying to force players into spending more and more money. It's truly sickening in my opinion that Bungie, the once loved developer of Halo, has stooped to these levels. I don't know if this whole mess is worse than Battlefront 2, but it certainly seems that Bungie has destroyed this game for a lot of players. The fact that people keep defending them is almost hilarious to me. You can only apologize for so long until players start to see that these words are just BS. Once 2018 begins and Bungie is back to working on Destiny 2, I'm just not convinced that we won't be talking about another bad decision that they make. Just because Bungie has made great games in the past, it doesn't make up for how they are treating its players right now. Anyway guys, what do you make of Destiny 2? Let me know in the comment section below, but also make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and consider subscribing for more videos like this, I'll see you later.